Okay, in this video, I'd like to provide some information that I think I see lacking on a lot of information about microwave oven transformers. Uh, I've done some research and I don't see anybody actually showing how to remove these slugs and what they do. In this video, I'm going to attempt to make that clear. You and the camera will pick it up. Clear down inside there is a couple little packs of laminations. Let's spin it around here. You might be able to see them right there. There's two of them side by side. What these do are they're shunts and they shunt out the magnetic flow and make it take this path instead of make it take the full path around the coil. And what that has the effect of is when a load is put on the high voltage coil the load will drop um, and it's done that way because in a microwave oven, uh, depending on what kind of food you have in there, uh, there's varying loads presented on the transformer. So a simple way to regulate the power is just to simply shunt. So when too much power is drawn, the high voltage field collapses. Um, so what I'm going to do is show maybe here how to, we'll see how this goes, to knock these little bridges or blocks out. I'm doing that so that I make an effort to not damage the coil by hitting on it uh, into the bench. Now I've got a little piece of metal shaped the approximate size that will fit in there to drive those out with. We'll see how this goes. They're moving. We'll keep at it. Okay, we'll just keep going. There's one. <laughs> I can retrieve my tool. There we go. Okay, that's one of them. Let's see if we can get the other one out. And there they are. Just two little bundles, packs of laminations. And we'll get the tool out of the way. Okay, now, put something that will reflect back in behind there. You can, I think, kind of get it in line. You can see that. Yeah, you can see it through the hole. They're both clear now. Now the other thing this will give you is these windings here can be removed. They're just filament windings and they're not going to give you much, uh, about three volts. You can pull these out and use some uh, Teflon in a covered wire and you can wind back in there another like a bias. You can get up to 24 or 30 volts depending on how much wire you how many turns you put in there. 
and that makes it useful for like your bias circuit or even uh, to use it to power the key the relays and stuff okay that's it just that simple and this will almost double the power that you can get out of a microwave oven transformer one other thing um, if you're going to use a tube like say a 4CX250 in that family of tubes you're going to do want to do one more thing now this looks like and seems like it'll be pretty destructive but it's pretty easy simple to do it's a little bit more work but you'll have to start by taking a uh, 3 16 or quarter inch drill bit and just drill down what you're going to do is you're going to tear up a bunch of the laminations and little by little you pick the wire out and keep unwinding it and you drop that at least a quarter inch or more like take that many windings off and that'll reduce the voltage as it is right now if this was hooked up to a full wave bridge this transformer will produce about 2700 volts at over 750 mils and the 2700 volts is way too much for a for CX250 you want that down to where you have unloaded somewhere around 22 2300 volts and be about as much as you'd want any higher than that and you risk uh, the tube uh, arcing on you okay that's it for this video thank you for watching